Good day, everyone. It's me. Yesterday, we put out an article in response to the Wall Street Journal's garbage article on Spartan Race. Yes, I said garbage. Why? Number one, it's behind a paywall. Suck at paywalls. Number two, it is not fact-checked. In the least, if you're going to make bold statements like they made, you got to have, I don't know, one fucking fact correct. Remember, I, I don't carry water for Spartan. I'm the first to say they have a lot of people working there who aren't very good at their jobs, who don't understand the sport, who don't understand the difference between marketing and PR, who uh, make pretty silly decisions, who aren't in touch with their customers. A lot of things. But I won't allow this bullshit to stand. So let's pull up. I had to fucking go to Reddit. If I wasn't going to pay for their fucking bullshit. Uh, has been laying off senior employees and stopped paying some vendors. Okay. Stopped paying some vendors. That's a huge statement, right? Fuck, they're not paying people? But what's the next set of words? As it contends with a cash crunch, according to people familiar with the matter. People familiar with the matter. What is people? One person, two person, five people, 100 people. People that used to work there? Actual vendors? Okay. Now, I'm a journalist. You don't always want to quote a source right? Port source wants to remain anonymous. So you could say, I spoke to one person who wanted to remain anonymous on this topic, okay? Or I spoke to a few, okay? People, cocksucker. This guy, Ryan Brenneman, the company's chief financial officer, recently left the company. The people with familiar with the matter said, the people. I'm going to come to you and say, you know what some people have said? They said you stole from work. They said you stole money from your boss. Who said that? Some people familiar with the matter. Uh, there are people that said they caught you. Um, I I'm trying not to say too many unwoke things. You get what I'm fucking saying, right? Texting someone you shouldn't have texted. Who said this? Some people. Well, fuck yourself. Uh, so did you reach out to Ryan Brenneman, the chief's financial officer, to find out? Maybe. Sam Someone, who is corporate counsel and director of business, also recently departed as the number of finance and accounting executives, according to the people familiar. Once again, there's our phrase. Again, I, maybe they did quit under weird circumstances. Maybe it was shady, but you got to at least attempt. We attempted to find these people. They didn't respond. They wouldn't give us an answer. They wouldn't talk in the record. Blah, blah, blah. Stop paying vendors. Okay, this is the, this is the big one I'm hung up with, okay? Now, we are aware. Again, it's so, so first you've got the some people, okay? who we don't know. Then it's some vendors. How many vendors? What are they owed? Okay. Is it one vendor? Is it two vendors? Is it half a million dollars? Is it $20 million? Is it $7,430.22? Okay. We reached out to those vendors. Couldn't find out what we were owed. This is lazy fucking journalism. Okay. Here's the actual fact that I'm aware of. In a uh, endurance race group, people looking for vendors, photographers, timing companies, medals, whatever. There was a post that went out that Spartan asked their photographers uh, to be delayed payments, right? Hey, we're not paying you uh, in 30 anymore. We're paying you in 60 to 90, right? Again, is this ideal for Spartan? Is this good news? Of course it's not, okay? But it's a lot different than stopped paying vendors, okay? So you can see how people run with this. People, oh, they're not paying vendors. They're going out of business, which is the other part that pisses me off, specifically uh, because people fucking know everything, okay? People know, well, I know, yeah, they won't be around in two years. Mark my words. Everybody's a fucking know-it-all. And what what really has me know how people are fucking know-it-alls and talk out of their ass is a couple of years ago, Spartan and Tough Mudder were going through what they were going through, right? People had a lot of opinions about that, okay? I happened to be behind the scenes on all of it, okay? I was talking to Spartan. I was talking to Tough Mudder. I was talking to Active. I was talking to the guys that were bringing the suit to Spartan. Most of the stuff all behind the record, all off the record, all behind the scenes. And then I was able to write articles based on uh, what facts I had. Now, I'm not saying this, that I did have the information. I'm saying that people were writing on the internet that they knew the answer when they didn't. Oh, I used to work there and I know for a fact X, Y, Z. Or I'm talking to people who work there. I know for a fact this is what Will Dean is really doing, X, Y, Z. And people fucking lie and make shit up all the time, and the internet goes crazy. So back to my original topic, uh, 
We will see, guys. We will certainly see. If you love Spartan, keep doing them. If you don't love Spartan, don't keep doing them. If you want to do more savages to them, I can tell you that the industry as a whole, you probably won't survive without Spartan Race. The industry as a whole, I love Savage. I hope Savage goes on forever. And would they pick up some customers from Spartan? If Spartan goes out of business, sure. Uh, but we need Spartan to stay in business if we all want to keep doing what we're doing. So uh, the Wall Street Journal is lazy. Lazy, lazy journalism. And clickbait uh, paywalls suck. 